Hi, in our study about schools, we are starting to learn about different schools in different parts of the world. And we will be look, looking very closely at this book called Off to Class, Incredible and Unusual Schools Around the World. The back cover says, when you think about going to school, what do you imagine? Odds are, it's not a cave or a boat or a train platform, but there are schools in caves and on boats and train platforms. There are green schools and mobile schools and even schools that unschool. There's a whole world of incredible and unusual schools out there. So, The Incredible Boy was a fiction book, right, about school? Remember Brian? This is a nonfiction book. It has a table of contents with three chapters. And there's an introduction. And the introduction says, Education for Everyone. I'm going to read this to you while you look at the pictures. Education for Everyone. You've probably heard a million times that school is important. It is, and not just because it can help you get your dream job someday. Education gives people power. It gives them the knowledge they need to make good decisions. It gives them a voice to demand that their governments do a better job. It gives them the confidence and the skills to change the world around them. Education is so important that the United Nations says it is a basic human right. Missing out. Unfortunately, just because education is considered a human right, that doesn't mean every kid gets to go to school. According to UNICEF, that's a children's and mother's organization from the United Nations, there are more than 100 million children around the world who have never been to school. Most of these kids live in developing countries where there isn't always enough money and resources to build schools. Even when there are schools, millions of kids still get left out. In some cases, it's because their families live too far away from the schools or because they can't afford to send the children to class instead of work. In other cases, the kids aren't allowed to go to school because of their gender, their background, or their citizenship. And it's not just kids in developing countries who get left behind. Kids in developed countries live in all kinds of circumstances that can make it tough to go to school the traditional way. Some kids live in remote areas or in areas hit by natural disasters. Some have special physical needs. Others find it hard to learn in traditional classrooms following traditional lessons. Finding the answers. The good news is that many amazing people around the world aren't willing to sit back and let kids miss out on an education. These people are asking, what do we need to create so these kids living here in these conditions can learn? And then more important, they're answering the question by creating incredible schools like the ones in this book.